Hello and welcome back. As promised, here is a tutorial on removing color cast from a photo. I will share a couple of interesting techniques. Some of them you might have already seen, but I'm pretty sure there are a couple of ones you never seen before. Please make sure to watch until the end of the video where I will reveal a super easy method that will blow your mind. Let's kick off with this image, which is a very interesting composition. As you can notice, it has a yellow color cast. And if we can remove this, I think the image will look much more dynamic. So the first simple method is just to apply a white balance. By correcting the white balance, we probably fix the yellow color cast. Pretty cool. Another very common and easy technique is using a divide layer. Let's add a fill layer and hide it so we can select the color. We will need to select a color from a point what we think should be white. After selecting the color, our fill layer will get that color and when we change its blend mode to divide, magic. Pretty amazing. Let's move on to a more controlled way of removing a color cast by using curves. After I hide the divide layer, let me add a curves adjustment. To make life easier for us, I'm going to use the RGB parade from the scopes panel. If you don't have the scopes panel enabled, you can go to the menu and from the view studio, enable scope. Let's have a look closer at the RGB parade. As you notice, the waveforms are not in sync, especially the blue is much lower than the red and the green, which makes sense as the opposite of blue is yellow and the image has a yellowish color cast. So our goal is going to be to make the waveforms in sync with each other by using the RGB curves. Let me go to the blue channel first and increase the blues. In order to move the blue waveform up, we need to move the highlights. There you have it. The image already looks amazing. If you want, you can adjust the green and the red to try to make a perfect balance or try to get the look you're aiming for. I think this looks good for now. Another variation of this method could be to use the CMIK mode of the curves. If your image has a yellowish color cast, it could be sometimes easier to adjust the yellow channel. As with the RGB version, you can adjust the channels as you see fit. While we're at it, let me also show how you can remove the color cast using lab mode with curves. So, I'm going to add another curves adjustment and set its mode to lab. Let me first try to explain the lab curve, as this is for a lot of people not very clear what's happening here. The middle of the histogram is a gray zone without any real color, and this is the zero level. The A component is a combination of green and magenta. The further to the left you are in the histogram, the more green is present. Conversely, the further to the right you are in the histogram, the more magenta is present. And in this example image, you see that the curve is more shifted to the left, meaning it's a bit saturated with green. Let's have a look at the B component. The B component controls the blue and the yellow, and you definitely see that the curve is shifted to the yellow. The idea is to move the endpoint in such a way that the histogram after applying will be in the middle. In order to remove the color cast, I'm going to move the blue point to the left, so the histogram after applying will be in the middle. If I go back to the A component, I will do the same for the magenta point. The amount you need to move is the distance from the center of the histogram to the center of the chart. That was pretty easy, right? You can see how this adjustment fixed the color cast we had. Let me know in the comments if you want a follow-up tutorial on how to use the lab mode, because it's a very interesting mode. Time to move to the next method. This is a more uncommon method, 
and is a variation of the previous RGB curves method. First, let's duplicate our layer and move it to the top. I'm then going to apply an average blur on this layer from the filters menu. This will create a layer with an average color of the image. You can modify the color a bit if you like, but for now I will just keep it. If we can make sure that this color becomes neutral gray, we kind of neutralize the image colors. So I'm going to add a curves adjustment again, and with the help of the RGB parade, I'm going to adjust the RGB channels until I have a flat line. Next is to position it up so the line is around the center of the scope. This can be done by using the master channel. I see the red is not perfectly aligned, so let me quickly fix that. Perfect. Now, the color we see should be very close to 50% gray. If I disable this color layer, look what happens. Pretty amazing. Sometimes, setting this curve layer to a color blend mode also works very well. Again, it's up to your personal idea and how the image should look like. If you look at the RGB parade, you notice that this method did the same as the previous method I showed. It balanced the RGB waves to be in sync. What we also could have done is use this average color layer directly. Let me hide the curves layer first. Now, with the average color layer, I will invert it by pressing command I and change its blend mode to hue. By adjusting the opacity, we can find a value which will fix the color cast. In this image, this method dimmed the photo, but you can fix that by adding a curves layer and increase the contrast and lighten up the image to correct that. Pretty awesome. Let's quickly go through the various methods. So here we have the curves method using the CMIK, and this is the RGB curve. This here is the divide method, and finally the white balance. As you see, they all remove the color cast and have a slightly different end result. Let me group these layers and hide it. I will paste a new image and let's apply the same methods on this image. I'm going to speed up the video a bit as I'm going to apply the same techniques demonstrated. So this is the white balance method, not bad at all. Here is the divide method, pretty cool. And finally, the curves method. As this image is a bit more challenging, you notice I'm spending a little bit more time in balancing the curve. Let us continue with the next set of images, which I'm pasting right now. These images have a very purple color cast. With this amount of color cast, it is almost impossible to get the original colors back. But let's try. I will start with the divide method. Well, that looks kind of awful. So, as promised in the beginning of the video, I'm going to share an amazing method with you. This method will use the add blend mode and I will change the blend mode of the color layer I use for the divide method to add. Let me try to explain as good as I can what I want to achieve. In order to get a neutral colored image, we should be able to add the inverse color of the cast to remove it. As I have the color cast color in the fill layer, I'm going to invert it by turning the HSL wheel to the opposite side, which in this case will create a greenish color. When I now turn on this layer, you notice the pink is removed. However, we have the greens in the darker areas. We can fix this by adjusting the blend range and making sure this layer only applies to the highlights on the layer below, as mostly color casts are in the highlights. Well, that looks much better. I can further fine tune the color applied and the blend range to get a better result. Excellent. Let me enable another photo from the same set, which has the same color cast. Out of the box, amazing. 
Here is another photo with a purple pink color cast. It works not that bad, but because it is a completely different photo, I can fine tune the blend range to make it better. With these heavy color cast, you can stack multiple methods on top of each other. I can add a divide layer to further remove the remaining color cast. I think this is a pretty amazing result, especially if you take into consideration where we are coming from. There's one more thing I want to share with you before I leave you. Instead of manually finding out the inverse color, we can also use an inverse adjustment. For some strange reason, maybe due to a bug, adjustments don't work on fill layers. So I will add the invert adjustment on top of the fill and group them. The blend range will be applied on the group. This also allows for a non-destructive workflow. This also works for easier cases. Let me enable the starting image and select the color we want to remove as the color cast. Look at that, it's just amazing. Let's not forget to fine tune the blend range. Besides removing the color cast, this method also creates creative possibilities. Before I leave you, just also keep in mind that you can also use these methods not only to remove a color cast, but you could also use them to apply a creative color grade. I hope you liked this video and thanks again for watching.